One of the foundations of masculinity has always been fighting and the philosophy that comes from that, the insight, the, the growth and the personal journey of the warrior and the fighter. Well, here in this clip uh, with Ed Aiken, we get to hear how that real life application of you know, those life and death situations, the learning how to fight and, and work in such intense ways developed this absolute clarity of sense of self, of desire, of who I was to be able to balance the emotions of highs and lows in uh, whether they were traumatic situations to situations where it was a, a decision, you know, to be a leader, to find out what your true expression was. So definitely check this out. This is just a short clip of the entire two hour interview that I did with Ed. So we got to break it up into a lot of parts, but check him out. Ed Aiken, fightfastandflee.com. It's an awesome site, plenty of uh, resources for you. Sign up on his newsletter and check out his products. And of course, the most important thing here is whether you're listening to this on iTunes or you're subscribed to our YouTube channel, check out the sexuallife.com. You know, if you really want to join in the entire evolution of change, of being the better man, that's what we have mapped out for you. Uh, whether you're on our newsletter, you're checking out our products, the better man's guide to dating and lifestyle or TSL online at home intensive, uh, man, it is the true guideline for you to improve as a man in a lifestyle that you can be proud of. That's the other important thing is I think when people don't confront violence, they don't, they don't, they, and what I mean by confronting violence is, is you, you evoke it out of yourself, you pull it out of yourself so that when it happens, you're familiar with it. That's why people go nuts. They fucking have PTSD and, and not PTSD, but, but guys who have uh, never explored it and shit just keeps going wrong and wrong in their life. It builds and builds and then they, they go on a, a violent rampage because they've never explored that side. They don't know how to, how to stop it. It's, it's, it's overwhelming. But, um, you know, that's why you, the more you can go there and the more you can, you can return to, to your base, which your base should be just completely relaxed, zero, no emotional content whatsoever, because you've got to get the, you've got to get the, um, uh, you know, thoughts of what could happen out of your head. There is no past. There is no future. It's the present moment. And you have to be so present that you're not adding anything into that present moment that's going to slow slow down your reaction mm. time. So you can't be labeling things. You have to exist and exist in complete quietness, but yet you're ready to respond. Then when you make the decision to go, you go 100%. So it's your emotional uh, uh meter goes up and down but yet you're when you're when you're calm you've got to take everything in and you've got to just you know it's a, it's a calm head it takes and it takes practice you're not always going to be like that you may just you may fuck you may just got stabbed you know how are you gonna how are you gonna keep calm in that situation you know there's really not much that people can say that's going to piss me off unless i choose to get pissed it's my it's my choice so if i choose to even have a conversation with you it's my choice. It's not yours. You can't do anything to me. To if, if I get fucked up in a fight, I fucked myself up. The guy didn't. You know, whoever mm -hmm. attacked me it was my fault. I accept a hundred you know, percent responsibility for it. And, and to be honest, I I believe I, I think people have to have two things. And and this is what this is what the type of martial arts that we do um, is, is really a metaphor for for people. And I and I think. Number one is you've got to have, this is a little bit off the subject, but it's not. You've got to have a, some sort of magical belief system, okay? In other words, you've got to have some sort of belief system, some sort of philosophy that allows for crazy things to happen, okay? So you don't delete these things out of your life. You don't label them. You just allow things to happen. That way you're, you're more present. So, so in other words, you're, not, you're, not, you're opening the box that you're in. You, you have, you have, you know, maybe that's, maybe that's true. Maybe it happens at the same time. And, and some people who have, uh, you know, religion have this and, and they have, you know, despite having a strict view, they're, they're open to miracles happening. 
Okay, so they have a magical belief system, but it's some sort of philosophy that they're open to crazy shit happening in their life. That opens possibility up and opportunity. But you have to have also the, um, you've got to have something to where the truth, where you measure your outcomes based upon reality and, and your experience, not somebody else's, but it's what you're, you know, what is working for you. You can use other people's experiences to teach you and you can learn from other people, but you don't get the truth from those other people. You get the truth from your, the, the results of your experience, the direct results of you know, what is working for you in the moment. And that can be in business, relationships, whatever it is. So you're not so, it, it's, a, it's a duality. You have this crazy thing, but you're not so far, your head's not so far in the clouds that you lose your brain. Right, because you have we have to have that, and so that's where the it's like two sides of the coin. You have your self perfection and self preservation. Your self preservation is the reality testing, what's really working, but your self perfection is working on these these abstract pieces of yourself that that will allow you to get to these other levels. And we don't label them saying, "Well, I have to be this way, I have to be that way, or it has to be done this way, or a technique has to be done that way," because that's ultimately limiting something. You want to have both. A limitless idea of what's possible and yet use your ex direct experience to to measure it whether it's true for you or not you know otherwise we look to other people we look to you know propaganda and what people say in this mm. fucked up society as to what's right what's wrong you know to me I'm just like well that might be true but let me let me measure it against what I know personally you know I think that people they, they, are, they want answers and they want solutions, but the answer lies in the experience. The answer lies in what you ultimately come to as your learnings of it. But whenever you come to a conclusion, the conclusion is a solidified thing. And the reality is that the truth is always changing. Everything's always changing. Hmm. The moment you try to label something, and this is why a street fight is chaotic. The moment you, you get stuck on one part of the street fight, like I'm going to do this to this guy, that's the moment that you get hit from the, from the side and everything goes out the window. You can't get stuck in it has to be this way. You have to be in the moment and change with what is. You know, I loved doing this interview and I know Ed really well, but I loved actually listening to it and gaining the knowledge that comes from that real life experience. And that's really what always interested me and propelled me as a man. Check it out, support them, fightfastandflee.com. And of course, if you're not on the TSL bandwagon, if you're not uh, part of the movement, part of this evolution to being the better man, the best expression of yourself, let's do it. Sign up on the newsletter, go to thesexuallife.com, check out our products, and let's start this journey to the evolution of being the better man.